This is part two of Grasshopper on the Road by Arnold Lobel. Grasshopper came to a puddle of water in the road. He was just about to hop over the puddle. Wait, cried a tiny voice. Grasshopper looked down. At the edge of the puddle was a mosquito. He was sitting in a little boat. It is a rule, said this mosquito. You must use this ferry boat to get across the lake. But sir, said Grasshopper, I can easily jump over to the other side. Rules are rules, said the mosquito. Climb into my boat. Your boat is too small for me, said Grasshopper. Rules are rules, said the mosquito. You must get into my boat. I can't fit into your boat, said Grasshopper. Rules are still rules, shouted the mosquito. Well then, said Grasshopper, there's only one thing for me to do. Grasshopper picked up the boat. All aboard, shouted the mosquito. Grasshopper held the boat very carefully. He stepped into the puddle. You are lucky to be with me on this voyage, said the mosquito. I have been sailing back and forth across this lake for many years, said the mosquito. I am not afraid of storms or waves. Grasshopper took another step. I know more about sailing than anyone else around here, said the mosquito. Grasshopper took one more step. He was on the other side of the puddle. He put the boat down in the water. That was a good trip, said the mosquito. Now I must hurry back to the other side to wait for new riders. Thank you, said Grasshopper. Thank you very much for taking me across the lake. I was glad to do it, said the mosquito. Grasshopper waved goodbye and kept on walking down the road. This one is called Always. In the late afternoon, Grasshopper saw a mushroom. It was growing on the edge of the road. I will rest my feet, he said. Grasshopper sat on the mushroom. Three butterflies flew down. Grasshopper, said the butterflies. You will have to move. Yes, said the first butterfly. You are sitting on our place. Every afternoon at this time, we fly to this mushroom. We sit down on it for a while. There are lots of other mushrooms, said Grasshopper. They will not do, said the second butterfly. This is the mushroom we always sit on. Grasshopper got up. The three butterflies sat down. Every day, every each and every day, we do the same thing at the same time, said the third butterfly. We like it that way. We wake up in the morning, said the first butterfly. We scratch our heads three times. Always, said the second butterfly. Then we open and close our wings four times. We fly in a circle six times. Always, said the third butterfly. We go to the same tree and we eat the same lunch every day. Always, said the first butterfly. After lunch, we sit on the same sunflower. We take the same nap. We have the same dream. What sort of dream? asked Grasshopper. We dream that we are sitting on a sunflower taking a nap, said the second butterfly. Always, said the third butterfly. When we wake up, wake up, we scratch our heads three more times. We fly in a circle six more times. Then we come here, said the first butterfly. 
We sit down on this mushroom. Always, said the second butterfly. Don't you ever change anything? Asked Grasshopper. No, never, said the butterflies. Each day is fine for us. Grasshopper, said the butterflies. We like talking to you. We will meet you here every day at this time. We will sit on this mushroom. You will sit right there. We will tell you all about our scratching and our dreaming. We will tell you all about our flying and our napping. You will listen just the way you are listening now. No, said Grasshopper, I am sorry, but I will not be here. I will be moving on. I will be doing new things. That is too bad, said the butterflies. We will miss you. Grasshopper, do you really do something different every day of your life? Always, said Grasshopper. Always and always. He said goodbye to the butterflies and walked quickly down the road. This story is called At Evening. In the evening, Grasshopper walked slowly along the road. The sun was going down. The world was soft and quiet. Grasshopper heard a loud sound. Zoom! Grasshopper heard another noise. Zoom! He saw two dragonflies in the air. Poor grasshopper, said the dragonflies. We are flying fast. You are only walking. That is very sad. It is not sad, said grasshopper. I like to walk. The dragonflies flew over grasshopper's head. We can see so many things from up here, said the dragonflies. All you can see is that road. I like this road, said the grasshopper, and I can see flowers growing along the side of the road. We are zipping and zooming, said the first dragonfly. We do not have time to look at flowers. I can see leaves moving in the trees, said Grasshopper. We are looping and spinning, said the second dragonfly. We do not have time to look at leaves. I can see the sunset over the mountains, said Grasshopper. What sunset? What mountains? asked the dragonflies. We are diving and dipping. There is no time to look at sunsets and mountains. Zoom! The two dragonflies raced across the sky. Soon they were gone. The world was quiet again. The sky became dark. Grasshopper watched the moon rising over the land. He watched the stars come out. He was happy to be walking slowly down the road. Grasshopper was tired. He lay down in a soft place. He knew that in the morning, the road would still be there, taking him on and on to wherever he wanted to go. The end.